And how serious is the future of Moyes Casado, Damesh? It's getting messy, this one. <laughs> really messy. Look, does, just to give you a little... start by shaking yeah. his head, does he? Oh. <laughs> just to give you a little chronology of how this has all transpired to where we are now. Chelsea were pushing to sign him in this transfer window. And the noises we were getting from Brighton, he is not for sale. That is their stance. He's not for sale. Arsenal then come in with a guaranteed £60 million offer. This is for a player that they signed for £4.5 million, remember, just two seasons ago. £60 million guaranteed. Again, the stance from Brighton, he is not for sale. Then comes the messy bit because Moises Caicedo then releases a social media post on Friday night basically saying, look, I want to thank everyone at Brighton. I want to thank everyone for the opportunity. But I'm so pleased that somebody has, has offered what is a club record for me. And he wants to basically take that opportunity. Again, Brighton, not for sale. Our stance is unchanged. It, he is not for sale. And then it emerged that he wasn't going to go to training on Saturday. I was then told that Brighton, in fact, had told Moises Caicedo... Just stay away from, the, from training until after the transfer window. We just need all of this to calm down. We understand and we appreciate the fact that your head has been turned mm. because it's natural. Th th they're leading the Premier League title race at the moment. Chelsea are a massive club as well. We understand that your head is going to be turned. So just take yourself away from it all, calm down, and then second half of the season, reintegrate and let's see what happens. Roberto De Zerbi, the head coach, was actually quite glowing about um, Moises Caicedo in his news conference earlier on this week when he said, look, he's a good guy and he understands why big teams would be after him. And it's good for Brighton that course, these, yeah. these clubs are after him. But Brighton have also made it clear, we're told, to Arsenal, do not bid anymore because we're categorically making it clear to you we are not selling Moises Caicedo. I've been told by one source, there's only one source, it hasn't come from the clubs or anything, that Arsenal might be prepared to go to £70 million, including add-ons. Only one source, hasn't been confirmed by anyone else, but it could be a moot point anyway because the way Brighton are digging in at the minute, nothing is going to change their mind with regard to Moises Caicedo. They've said that he is not for sale. This I mean, is a lot about their recruitment as well. Yeah, isn't it, I mean, th th that's fantastic. You know, I think Brighton as well, just to go ahead of your question, mm -hmm. is Brighton making that decision and saying stay away. I think it's a good move from Brighton. If this is all true, it's taking the pressure right off him and it's taking him out of the limelight. Let's see what happens. But as you said earlier, the recruitment, wow. Somebody now, they signed for such a small fee. We say small fee, we're huge for Wickham Wanderers, but <laughs> it's uh, such a small fee in the Premier League. What, I mean, what a, what a mark-up that is, you know, 70 million potentially for, for a player they signed. But there is so many factors in this story, you know, because as we were talking earlier, Dom, he's, he's from Ecuador, you know, he had absolutely nothing growing up coming there. This amount of money is life-changing, not for him, for his family, for what he could do for the people who were there for him, taking him to trials, buying his boots, apparently, you know, when he couldn't afford boots back there. So you have to sympathise with uh, you know, with Caicedo, but you've, you've also got to think, Brighton don't want to sell him. Brighton want to be competitive. They want to keep hold of their best players. They have the ability to do that. It does get a little bit messy now. And, uh, and who's made that decision for him to stay away? Who made the decision that he wanted to post that thing on social media? Is he under pressure from an agent? Does he not want to do that? Does he want to stay? I'm sure it'll all come out in the wash.